In other news this evening, it's been shelled for about seven years now, but the conditional release of offenders bill, better known as the parole bill, has made a return. The Bahamas Department of Correctional Services holding its first community meeting last evening in hopes of garnering much feedback before moving forward. Jimenita Swain tells us more. The proposed law allows for the conditional release of BDOC's inmates for parole. Some 37 pages in all, the document speaks to the establishment of the Department of Offender Rehabilitation and Welfare Service, which will review all applications referred to the department by the commissioner. It also establishes a parole board consisting of 20 members appointed by the governor, which will meet once per month to sit, review, and decide parole applications. For National Security Minister, the Honorable Wayne Monroe, if passed, this legislation will assist the institution in its rehabilitative efforts. The decision of the board is to be taken by a majority, and so you can tell that the majority is, is up to 20 people. So if there are 18 people there, 50 plus one. The parole board is concerned basically that you're no longer a danger to the public and you can be safely released. The parole board is concerned about your education and you being integrated back into the culture. Acting Commissioner of Corrections Don Clare is optimistic now that the bill has been revived. He's now asking the public to do its part. Our next meeting, encourage your friends, encourage your families, encourage everyone to come out and to participate and ask the questions. Get your answers. We got a panel of experts here. It is not releasing people early because they come out anyway. They are coming out. 98% of them are coming out. It is just that when they come out, we want them to be ready. David Williams of Uplifting Men's Ministry has spent some time working with inmates and says he welcomes the legislation. Uh, where they talked about individuals who are incarcerated in New Providence, a two-year service, at the two years minimum sentence left, they would now be transitioned to a transitional type home in Freeport. And I suspect that in the morning when we go to Abaco, it will be a program similar to that. So I'm saying I agree that individuals for parole, they ought to be monitored. Another three consultative meetings are set for New Providence and following the widest possible consultation, BDOC's officials are hoping debate begins in the lower chamber. For the Bahamas Tonight, I'm Jiminita Swain.